Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna help you play tennis freely, going for your shots. I know that so many players out there, I get so many emails that they wish that they could just play free, going for their shots, not playing nervous. And I'm just gonna give you a couple of tips. It's gonna be a, a pretty short video, but I think it's gonna be extremely helpful because we all get nervous. We all know what it feels like to just have everything inside and we just can't let it out. We so badly wanna let it out into the tennis ball, but we just can't. So tip number one, we've all heard it before, but it's super helpful and the great John Newcomb talked about it when I interviewed him and he would talk about breathing, okay? Breathing, really taking the deep breaths and then laying it out, you know, like really work on that. Just not, you, we all know that, but how often do we actually do those deep breaths and you do feel much better. You're gonna feel the tension leave your shoulders. The second tip I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you three tips today. The second tip I'm gonna give you, one of the most helpful for me. Sometimes when I play, I notice, I'm sure you've noticed it too sometimes when you play, that you're holding the racket too tight. That you're holding the racket at death grip and your, your strokes get very, very short. They get tight and short. One of, my, one of my friends used to yell at himself and tell himself he had gator arms. I always thought that was funny but because I knew exactly what he meant by that. So how can you get rid of that a little bit? Okay, we're always gonna be nervous, guys. There's no miracle cure to not be nervous nervous, you have to learn how to deal with the nerves. I love this tip from Jeff Greenwald. He's a sports psychologist, one of the best players over 50 in the world. And he talked about, hey, if you're extremely nervous, hold the racket tight as you can for 10 seconds in between points. So let's say I had to serve, and I'm just walking here and I got my ball and I'm, I'm holding the racket, the death grip, and I'm getting ready. And then when I come up here and I bounce the ball a couple times, still holding the death grip, and I come up here, I'm just gonna relax. Now all of a sudden my hand is loose, it's gonna help me crank the serve, get more racket at speed behind it. And my first couple shots, I notice that I'm looser. And, and once also I think you hit those first couple shots well, you can kind of relax, go, oh, this point's actually going good. And you just kind of get more at ease. Plus, remember, most points end within four shots. So tip number two is to practice that move with your grip. Tighten up as tight as you can for 10 seconds. Okay, your final tip. And I love this, I got this from, again, John Newcomb and watching Rick Macy work with his students. And John Newcomb said, hey, if you can't smile, you're too nervous. So try and smile and figure out how you're smiling. And like, if you can't do it, you're like, oh my God, I'm so tight. So smiling actually helps and it helps you relax. It helps you loosen up your tension. So try and play in practice with a smile. I think it's tough. If you don't practice with a smile, I think it's tough to then go play a match and then all of a sudden smile. So in your practices, try and start hitting with a smile. Maybe start talking to your partner and hitting and, and talking about fun things and smiling and, and getting, understand what that feels like to smile at in between points, uh, being able to look at your team and smile rather than looking all mean and mad and, and also even when you're hitting a ball. Uh, Rick Macy all the time when he's giving lessons, he always, always tells his students to smile, right? He'll say smile and it goes in, always saying that. And so those three tips, I think, if you're somebody who plays very, very nervous, very, very tight, we've all done it. I don't think there's a tennis player on the planet that hasn't done it, so don't feel bad about yourself. These are really good mechanisms that's going to help you go out there and have a lot more fun and play the way you actually want to, right? To be able to play like you practice. That's the dream, I think, for most all tennis players. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a strong thumbs up. Let me know what works for you in the comment section comment below let me know what helps you get over your nerves I think we can all use tips on how we can go out there and play and not not feel nervous and uh, definitely subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed to my channel we're coming up on 50,000 subscribers I would love to celebrate with you by having a raffle giving away a $200 gift certificate to Tennis Express once we get there so what you have to do is subscribe and then get on my email list to be notified if you are the winner so if you're a subscriber get on my email list the way you can do that right now is I'm going to offer you a free serve course, serving A to Z. 
You can click up here in the card section or in the description to sign up. It's uh, not just a like two or three video serving course. It's literally got over 30 videos. It takes you A to Z on serving from beginner to advanced concepts. So people really love it. Sign up and we'll see you guys on the next video.